Welcome back to Dove Six Borough Radio. It's time to kick back and relax as they leave the city to find a more rural route. That's right, Colin. Wake up with the explorers and join them as they stretch their legs and work up an appetite. Good morning. Today is moving day. We can't spend the rest of the time in this little car park, unfortunately. There's a whole world to see. Now it's time for us to show you our morning routine. First things first, we need a little bit of light on the situation. So that means I take down the thermal blind on the side window. Now it's time to put the bed back into position and make some space. So with the bed back in position, I'm going to go outside and remove the windscreen cover to let a bit more light in. Now it's multitasking time, I'm going to put the kettle on and that's going to do some water for washing up and important coffees. Another job for myself is to tidy away all my gadgets and toys because we've been here for a couple days, I've got everything out and now it needs to be packed away. So once I've organised my box of goodies, it's time to slip them into their home which is underneath the bed. And whilst I'm here, I also like to check the batteries in the morning to see where we're at. So here under the bed is our display unit for our batteries and as you can see, they're doing quite well. It's still early so the sun isn't at full power. We've got almost 5 amps coming in but we are putting out 3 amps as we're running the cool box. So not too bad. So I'm starting the washing up and as a prize we'll have a coffee and what are you going to do Cal? I am going to do the sweeping. Coffee time. We're using Cal's percolator. It's one of his birthday presents many moons ago which has got a lot of use this trip. One change that we have made recently is switching milks. We have been struggling to keep fresh cow's milk um, good enough in our little cool box. So then coming over to Europe, I hate UHT, can't do it. So we have changed to hazelnut milk. It works great in coffee and cereal, but it's not that good in your tea. So I seem to have ditched the good old English tea for the time being. So cheers to another beautiful cup of coffee. And we've got some toast on the way, but we are far from ready to hit the road. So another job we have to do before we get going is to turn the double seats back into their original position. Sometimes I can get this done in one go really smooth, but nine times out of 10, I get it wrong. I, don't, I haven't quite worked out the knack somehow. But here we go, here's that one time in 10 where it just, it just works. <laughs> Yeah. What do you keep forgetting to do? Screw in the front bolts. So I'm just doing the checks in the back of the van before we move. Teddy Ralph sits in here to stop the uh, cups from jangling about. That's all fine. If everything's not in there, then the bowls fall out. So I've removed the bowls from the end and put them in the cupboard. And that should all stay there. So we're nearly ready to hit the road. One last thing is to pull the driver's seat forward. Backwards. Backwards. <laughs> uh, we do that because um, it gives us a couple of extra inches when we're lying in bed so our feet aren't pressed up against it. It just makes you feel a bit more free and less claustrophobic. Uh, and it takes two seconds to do so. Always worth doing. After the hustle and bustle of the city, it's great to find a peaceful spot to relax. Having a camper allows you to have the best of both worlds and make decisions as you go. So after a short 17 minute drive we find ourselves in a pretty rural part of Holland I think isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah, we are going to do like a little walk. Yeah, we're going to follow a 5 kilometre route. Um, it's going to be so nice because we were cooped up in the van in a car park for a, a day or so. So being able to get out, get out in the sun and actually enjoy it, it's going to be really nice. We're also very quiet around here.
Me and Meg were just talking about how different walking around here is compared to, say, uh, Ben Nevis and Snowden, which we've done in the last few weeks. I haven't done the walking boots this time because how many miles did we do around Amsterdam? Uh, well, we did two days and we did, I think one day was about 18 kilometers and the next one was about the same, was it? Yeah, I, don't but know. I think that was cycling because we weren't so stupid again, were yeah, we? Yeah, we did do a lot of walking. Yeah, so uh, I feel my legs are getting more toned. <laughs> but like I said, it's definitely nice to get out of the van a bit. Uh, we'll make the most of today. Uh, we're going to have a nice chill that day, hopefully find somewhere free to camp tonight and chill out, do some work, bits and bobs like that. Maybe have some lunch here because the van's in the car park a little way away and yeah. And the weather's glorious so I yeah. think we need to make the most of it because it has been pretty rainy the last few days. Yeah. What a beautiful spot. The sun is out and we're enjoying ourselves. Yes, we have prattled about on this uh, jetty quite a lot. We saw a couple of herons, a uh, tiny little frog, plenty of uh, dragonflies and uh, bugs and stuff like that. It was really quite nice. And of course, Meg has found another bush of blackberries. They seem to be haunting us somehow. How are they? Nice. You want one? Cheers. We made our way back to the van for lunch. A very simple toasted pitta filled with whatever we had left in the core box. Ingredients today being salami, brie, rocket and tomato with a healthy spread of mayo and Dijon. We headed north to our next free spot. We had selected one that looked pretty cool, but you never really know what you'll find. So we are now firmly set up in our new location. We are just outside the town of Enns, or Eins, E-N-S. Um, we're right next to the canal, which has been really cool. We've seen some awesome boats going up and down. Problem is, it invited a hell of a lot of midges, more than I ever saw in Scotland. Um, they've just vanished now because it's getting very hot in here because Meg has made some beautiful food. Unfortunately, it was getting so steamy in here, it was unbearable and we couldn't open the windows because of the bugs. But now they've gone, so we can relax, chill out and enjoy our food in peace. So I think we'll wrap up the vlog here. Um, it's been interesting. Uh, the speed of travel, thankfully, has slowed down a bit. Um, we're planning to move on tomorrow, though. We're going to go up to some, see some nice villages, uh, ones that don't have any uh, vehicles in, within them. Is that right? Yeah. Um, and they're supposed to be really beautiful and picturesque. So hopefully, we'll be just chilling out for a few more days and sightseeing and sort of still getting our bearings, really. Join us in our next episode as we walk through the picturesque town of Gearthorn. If you've liked today's episode, feel free to like, comment and subscribe to see more.